And here's a hive taunting, not in any particularly agricultural areas. Look at all that honey. There was another super honey, and that's all the bees that are left in October. No varroa on those. I don't know why. But that certainly is a puzzle. And as I explained to him, extract the honey. You know, the honey's worth, of, even then, the honey was worth a lot more than a package of bees. You know, people today, I go, yeah, extract your honey. Uh, it'll work well. I don't have an answer to this. Could it be a virus? I'm going to give you a whole list of things it could have been. Uh, but I truly don't know. This is the first true one I ever saw, where I went to the people's home and went, that's interesting. This you know, looks we like a super. It is. It's a medium super. Yeah. And with great honey here, they had, obviously there's a lot of bees. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any brood area. No, brand new, brand so, new hive. Yeah. First year hive. The deeps had a lot of honey in them too, but the bees are gone. Well, this is the point. And I pretty well have a pretty good idea what happened in the commercial people. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. Why there's been so much CC, you know, CCD. That one there, no dead bees in the front. The you know, first thing I do, I go, yes, I look and see if there's dead bees laying in the front. No, I go here. Bone. No, well, why would the bees have died if it was honey? The bees are gone. Did they swarm? No evidence of swarming, no queen cells. Oh, the queen, back in the anyway, the queen's still in there. You see the picture here in a minute. What year? I'm going back about five years ago. Um, now this has been going on, but I got into retirement mode and had more time to do this kind of stuff then than I did before that. And there it is. Interesting picture. Is the queen still alive? Yep, she's right up there. She did die. And the whole group did die after about a month or so. But this is my slide where I'm bringing you into the unfortunate areas I'm going to be talking about. Queen died, laying on the entrance, died. Varroa. Varroa is the size of like a frisbee on your back sucking your blood out of you. If you want to know about how that must be for a bee, I mean, obviously they can fly. They usually get under those plates. That one climbed out before I got the picture. And trachea them like that in here. So on a rural basis, and we're going to talk about viruses a lot more in a minute. It's amazing how these viruses are coming in the United States changed. They match something from Europe. They match something from China. They match something from here. It's absolutely remarkable how that's happening. And I'll get in some of the theories on it, but I probably don't know for sure either. Well, we all know bee, you know, 50,000 bees can fly five miles. So bee can get itself into a lot of trouble. Collect a lot of honey, too. But they can certainly get into stuff. This is a, something I use to count the number of dead bees in front of my hives. I do bee counts, and I'll talk about that before we get toward the end. And this is part of a, a, a study I'm doing, you know, I was doing at the time. <coughs> so, anybody that thinks they know the reason, this is, you know, this is put together by the Europeans. And stress factors in honeybees. My, there's an awfully big list there. But you can see the bee here. We're looking at different pesticides, techniques, farming practices, food supply, climate and weather. We had big climate changes recently. Viruses, bacteria, uh, beekeeper practices, you know, the caricides, the, the, the mites, a lot of residues and everything, and beneficial microbes we may not have. That is a very complicated thing. And we're all in agreement. Is it all of them? Is it one of them? What's it going to take to fix this? 